Good morning, people. It's Awakened Sheeple. Um, I know it's after 1 a.m. I'm on the third floor, so I gotta try to be quiet because my neighbors, but it's been an amazing night. I don't even know how to put it into words, but I'm gonna try because he said it was okay. I've been praying all day trying to figure out a bunch of personal stuff in my life and oh. I went to lay down just about an hour and a half ago or so closed my eyes and I'm wrestling with a bunch of personal issues trying to get them off my mind and I got my eyes closed and it's like somebody puts a candle up in front of my face. I can even feel the heat from it. It was weird. And I'm trying to talk to him and his light gets brighter and brighter and brighter. And I finally open my eyes up to see the candle because I know it's right there. It's, there's a bright candle or something lit right there in my face. I can feel the heat coming off of it. And I open my eyes and there's nothing there. I'm like, that's strange. I guess I'm not laying down, huh? So <laughs> I get back up. I come out to my living room here. And I'm like, I got nothing else to do. I'm just going to start praying. Maybe I'll fall asleep in prayer or something. So I'm talking to him for just a couple of minutes. And everything in my mind changes. I'm like, you know, I'm being pretty selfish. There's a lot of other people that need prayers. And let me pray for those that have nobody to pray for. Those people that have nobody out there, you know, no family, just so alone. So I was praying for those lone children. And uh, this is where it gets strange, okay? Suddenly I'm, you know, because I'm praying, I got my eyes closed, I've got my face down. And there's that heat again, that fire, right in my face. So I start focusing on it with my eyes closed. And it's a house building. It's on fire, it's a building, and, uh, like three stories. I don't know if this is really happening or not, but I'm, so I'm standing in front of this building. It's burning, and there's a fireman standing in front of me. Okay, right? So there's a child up there on the third floor crying, and I just, I just know this. And the Lord's standing there next to me, but I don't see him, but he's standing there, and he says, tell the fireman. So I walk up to the fireman, I put my hand on his shoulder, and I'm like, there's a child up there on the third floor, go get her. And he takes off running, and I go with him. And we go up, and we get up there, and he's like, gets lost, or doesn't, he doesn't know where to go, and I'm telling him that the child's in that room. Now, he doesn't ever look at me, he doesn't even know I'm there. And he busts through this door, grabs his child, and runs back outside, and <laughs> I go outside with him, and I'm done. It's... He says, that's what it's all about. So maybe some of you guys can figure it out. I don't know what happened, but it was weird, weird. But uh, pray for those people that have nobody else to pray for them. You know, pray for those lost people that just have nobody else. Might be one prayer away from salvation. Praise Jesus.